Hello everyone, welcome to the Packet Tracer Activity 26.2.4 from CCMP and Core Course from Cisco. This activity is about configuring and secure password and SSH. Okay, what we have here, we have the addressing table. As you can see here, we have the uh, RCA, which is the router here. We have PCA, which is this computer here. And we have WSW1, which is switch one. The process, the topology is simple and we need, we are going to configure uh, like uh, these two devices here to be secure and to be accessed through um, like SSH protocol. All right, so what is the scenario here? The network administrator has asked you to prepare RTA and SW1 for deployment before they can be connected to the network. Security measures must be enabled. Okay. Let's start the instructions. Again, the topology, this one is simple. We are going to configure uh, the, these two devices to be ready for deploying, deploying for the real networks. Okay, so for part one, we are going, or step one, we are going to configure IB addressing on PCA according to the addressing table. As you can see here, this is PCA. So we need this IB address here. We are going here. Desktop, as you see, this is very simple step. Then we need the subnet mask, and then we need the default gateway as well. As you know, this is the default gateway. This is the IP address of this, like the port of this one. As you can see here, this is the same. However, let's put this one here, and that's it. Meanwhile, you can see our completion. All right, so. B console into RTA from the terminal on PCA. So if you are going to come here and click CLI, it's going to be that this is not allowed. We need to console, as you see here, console into RTA. Okay, so we can go here and then click terminal and then click OK. So now we are console. As you can see here, now we need to configure IP address into RTA and enable the interface. This is the IP address here. Let's take it from here and enable configure terminal and the interface gigabit Ethernet 00 as it is given in the addressing table. Here we have IP address. If you put this one, we need also this one here as a subnet mask. We also put this one here and of course no shutdown. This is very necessary. And as you can see here, our completion and now it turned to green okay now we need to configure a host name this is also simple we need to exit from the interface mode and now we can just type host name r t a okay now we are going to uh, in part e we are going to enable or encrypt all plain text passwords. Okay, so surface password and encryption, or you can just type surface and then press tab in your keyboard and then password PAS and then in encryption. In part F, we are going to set the minimum password length to 10. This is also uh, can be done through this command security password minimum length 10. All right. And now in part G, we are going to set a strong secret password for of your choosing, not password, uh, choose a password that you will remember or you will need to reset the activity if you are locked out of the set device. Okay, so here we need enable secret and then we need to put the password. I'm going to put the password Cisco123 and then exclamation mark as you remember or as you already know that i said the minimum length of the password is going to be 10 and here it says that password too so short is minimum is going to be 10 okay so one two three four five six now in general we have more than 10 characters it should be now okay all right now we move forward to part h we have to disable dns lockup so here, no IP domain lockup. 
OK, and then we need to set domain name for ccna.com. This is necessary when we would like to like um, use SSH. OK, so IB domain name, we give the domain name as, it's, as it is given here, ccna.com. And then create a user of your using with a strong encrypt, encrypted password. Here we are going to use the username and the password when you will log in or we are going to log in from uh, PCA using SSH. So here we are going to say username is going to be Cisco and the password like um, we can say that here um, also Cisco 23456 exclamation mark. Okay. Now we are going to generate a security key for this, uh, like generate a security key, we can type crypto and then press exclamation mark. And then as you can see after crypto, we just type key, after key again, exclamation mark. And we have here two options. The first one is generate and the second one is zero size. So we need generate and then RSA as it's given here. So you don't need to remember this command, you only need to type the first one, crypto. Okay, and that is given here, that how many bits in the modules. It's also mentioned that we have to put 1024. Okay, the key is now generated. Now we need also to block anyone for three minutes who fails to log in after four attempts with a two minute period. So for this, what does it mean for three minutes? It's 180 and for attempts with two minutes period, 120. So in general, we have lock or block login block for one, eight, one like three minutes. If there are four attempts wrong within a two minutes or 120 seconds. Okay. We got I. And now we are in M, we are going to set lines VTY 04 to be SSH. Okay, so line VTY 04. And then transport, we need input. And then we will have to activate that SSH, not till net, because SSH is more secured. And then login, we are going to set it like local okay what we also need we need to like execute or time out for six minutes if there is no interactive of you spell lit like you are connecting from the pc to the router for six minutes when you did not give any command or anything then that will be automatically logged out after six minutes as you can see here so execution time out after six minutes okay so now we need to save the configuration to the ram okay so here we need end and here the running configuration to the startup configuration okay we have downloaded this now let's try to use ssh we need ssh minus l and then the username is cisco and then we need the ip address of this router or of this interface we need a password here. If you remember, Cisco one two three four five six exclamation mark. Enable again. Cisco one two three four five six exclamation mark. And you can see here we are. Okay. And then if you forget your password, you can simply come back here to the terminal, and you go up, and you can check the passwords here. As you can see this one here, the second one is somewhere here. However, so we have done with PCA and the router. Now let's move to step two, which is, which is about configure basic security on a switch. Okay, so now in this case, we don't need to console. We can use the command line interface from here directly. Here we need enable, here we need configure terminal. And here we need the host name to be SW1. 
Okay, now we need to configure IP addressing on SW1 with VLAN 1 and enable the interface. So this is the IP address. Okay, so interface VLAN 1 and then IP address and then the subnet mask and then of course no shutdown. As you can see here, line protocol interface VLAN 1 and just state to up. Okay, what we also need, we need to define a um, default gateway. As you can see, configure a default gateway address. All right, so we are going to take this one from here and we are going to type here IB default gateway and then we give the IB address here. Okay. Perfect. And now we are going to disable all, all unused switch ports. So if you can check here, we have two interfaces used. The first one, Fast Ethernet 01, and the second one, Gigabit Ethernet 01. What is the range of the switches? Let's check it here. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, let's take a look here. We have interface this one. We have to let it up. We have to turn off from 2 till 24. This one we have to let it. We have to turn off this one, which is Gigabit Ethernet 02. Okay, so interface range from fast Ethernet 02 till 24 and we need also Gigabit Ethernet 02. Here we have range. The call should be shut down. Okay, now they are shut down. Let's exit. Let's check it again. As you can see here, we have them administratively down. Okay, that's good. And then we need to encrypt all the plain text password. We did this in the router. If you remember, we can do it here by type service and then password encryption. Set a strong secret password for your choosing. So here we can say again, enable secret and then we put Cisco one, two, three, four, five, six, and then exclamation mark. You can notice here that it's not required to put the minimum length to more than 10 characters. However, in this activity, I'm going to keep the password unified for the router and for the switch. Okay. You can just type Cisco123. Okay, no problem. And then we need to disable DNS lookup. So here, no IB domain lookup. And then we need to set the domain name to be cisco.com or ccna.com, sorry. Here we need IB domain name, and then we need this one. Remember, make sure that there is no space after com or after the same. Then we need to create a user of your choosing with a strong encrypted password. Okay, so username, again, I'm going to put it Cisco and then secret Cisco one, two, three, four, five, six, and then exclamation mark. Okay, we need also to generate um, uh, 1024-bit 1, RSA. Remember, crypto, exclamation mark, key, Exclamination mark, generate, exclamination mark, RSA, 1024, as it's given here. Okay, configure all VTY lines for SSHXs and use the local user profiles for authentication. Okay, so we have local and we have all the 
um, like uh, lines. The, the difference here between a switch or router, so in VTY lines, we have in the switch 15 lines. So here we are going to type line VTY from 0 to 15. Okay, then we need to transport and then input and then SSH and then login local. Okay, and then we need to set the execution mode timeout to 6 minutes on all VTY lines. So if you don't remember any command, you just type question, question mark here. And here you have all the commands that you can use in this at this moment and this configure line. We need this one. Set the execution timeout. Let's take this one here. And then we put it 6. And then set the execution mode to timeout. This we already done have done with this, and then save the configuration to NV RAM. So here we need end and here will be running configuration to the start of configuration. Here we need copy. Okay, and as you can see here, we have 100 our completion. Now let's take the IP address of this switch which is a virtual IP address because this switch does not need IP address only for the remote management. Let's come here and then SSH minus L, Cisco, and then we put the IP address. And then the password Cisco123456, exclamation mark, and you can see we are here. Here, if you type enable, you need again a password that which is Cisco123456, exclamation mark. Okay, so our completion is 100. That's all for this activity. Thank you very much and I see you in the next activity, which is the last activity in the course CCMP and core.